Now we're done with Newton's second law. I've explained to you the nature, the nature or the what does F equals m a mean, and we have an example solving the uh, a problem uh, which involves kinematic equations and uh, your F equals m a. So now let's go to Newton's third law. Newton's third law is the topic for the part of this session. So yeah. So let's say we have a B and a bubble B colliding. Pa ni ng joke pero sige. A B and a bubble B collide. What? Which applied a greater force on the other? Sino pinaka mas malaking nagwa? So yan, 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 wow. Then boom, lang ganda ng animation ko. Okay. Ano <laughs> alin sa dalawa yung mas nag-apply ng mas malaking force? Is it the B or the bubble B? Yeah. Which of among the two? Bumblebee po. Bumblebee ba? Really? <laughs> They're equal yung force on each other. We will see na by Newton's third law, they should apply equal forces and that are opposite each other. Dapat equal yan. Hindi nagmamatter yung mass. Okay? That's an important idea in Newton's third law. So, we will see that we have our Newton's third law of motion. If a body A exerts a force on body B, then body B also exerts a force uh, a reaction force on body A, and these two forces have the same magnitude. Mas parehas lang yung forces na yan, pero opposite yung direction. They're opposite in direction, these two forces acting on two different points. Okay? So, um, the B will exert a force on the bumblebee. Uh, let's say, if A is the B, B is the bumblebee, and then the force exerted by the B on the bumblebee can be written in F A on B. Sometimes some books will write this as F A dash B or some books will also write this as A F comma B. Take check ang notation sa libro na ginagamit nyo. Um, I will be using this notation F A on B para mas malinaw kung ano yung force na nag, uh, yung object na nag at saka yung object na inaakta nung, nung force. So F A on B and then that's the force. Bakit baliktad to? Sorry for this animation. This should be uh, baliktad to. A is the, oh nga, baliktad to ah. This should be this force. Sorry for that. And then, FB on A. Kaya, <laughs> baliktad nga. <laughs> Ay, wait. Sandali, sandali. Ulit. No? A acts on B. Tama, tama, tama. The bumblebee is the one that's B. Tama, tama. So, mali nga itong ano to. Okay. And then, the on, on the other hand, sorry for that. On the other hand, the bumblebee will exert a, a reaction force on A. That's why, baliktad to. So, this is F. A on B, A, so the force acting uh, acted by B on the bumblebee, and in return, the, there should be a force act, acted by the bumblebee on the B, FBA, or FB on A. Okay? So this animation is wrong. Sorry for that. <laughs> I won't come. Stuff happened. Okay? Clear ba tayo doon? Clear ba? Is this clear? Again, um, uh, FA on B and FB on A, they have the same amount of force. They have the same magnitude. They have the same length, but they are they act on opposite uh, opposite on each other. On uh, uh, they have the different directions or opposite directions, and we will see that F A on B is just the negative of F B on A. Okay, so ato yung sinasabi ng Newton's third law. They have the same force magnitude, but of acting on opposite directions. So ganito. So dito sa expression na to, kanino nag-act yung force? Kay A o kay B? Obviously, kay B, di ba? <laughs> kay B siya. Pero dito sa kabila, kanina nag-act yung force? Kay A, B or kay A? O kay, A or, kay A or kay B? Dapat kay A, di ba? Hence, silang dalawang forces, magkaiba sila ng inactan. They act on different bodies. And that's a key. If you want to identify action-reaction pairs, dapat magkaiba yung um, kung saan nag-act yung action force at saan nag-act yung reaction force. Okay? Huwag malilito. Medyo nakakalito to sa totoo lang. Okay. Now, F A on B is negative F B on A. Again, the equal sign tells us that the magnitudes of these forces are equal. And the negative sign tells us that they are directed oppositely. On, uh, they're on opposite sides of the other uh, opposite directions. Okay? These forces are collectively known as an action-reaction pair. Arbitrary naman yung assignment ko ano yung action tsaka ano yung reaction force. Pero usually, if you want to determine the forces acting on a particular object, the action forces are the ones that are acted up on that object. And the reaction force is the force that, that the object acts on 
on the other objects. So for example, meron kang apple, you'll see this in an, in an example. If you have an apple, the forces acting on the apple, usually sila yung designated as action force. Ngayon, syempre yung, yung apple din mag exert ng forces dun sa kung saan nag act dun sa mga objects na in actan siya. In that case, uh, it, that is the designated as the reaction force. So by convention lang naman yan. Pero nonetheless, arbitrary yung, as, yung assignment kung ano yung action at ano yung reaction. Nonetheless, they're, they Parehas lang namang forces yan at ang gabinig. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong ba rito? May tanong? Questions? Okay? Answer. So, ganito. Para hindi kayo malito, isipin nyo na nasa English class kayo. Um, pag halimbawa may tanong, sa, for example, sa exam or sa FQ, right? Um, for example, what are the forces or what are the action reaction pairs of this object? No? What are the, which of the following is an action reaction pair? Laging tanong yan and laging maraming Maraming nagkakamali dyan. Ang ganito, isulat yung muna yung forces at the form force exerted by A on B. At the sentence, isulat yung force exerted by A on B. Minsan kasi hindi yan obvious. But we will see na may technique dyan. Force exerted by A on B. Now, this one is the action force. So, this one is the action force. So, action force is force exerted by A on B. Ang gagawin mo lang para makuha yung reaction force pag babalik tirin mo lang yung dalawang objects. A and B should interchange. And that's your reaction force. So, ama? Ganun lang maghanap nito. I don't know bakit maraming nalilito. Pero ganun lang siya. Okay? So, if you have... So, ang tamang ano dyan is force exerted by A on B. Pag binaliktad mo, yun na yung reaction force niya. Force exerted by B on A. And, okay, tama di ba? Consistent ba ito sa sinasabi natin? So, sa action force, kanina nag-act yung force? Kay A o kay B? Yun? Kay A o kay B? Nag-act yung force? Kung saan nakakabit si on, right? So, kay B nag-act yung force dito. Whereas the reaction force, kanina nag-act na yung force? Kay A. Tama, di ba? E, di ba ang sinasabi? Ang action siya ka-reaction pairs, they will never act on the same object. That's an important warning. Action and reaction pairs will never act on the same object. So therefore, kapag forest na nasa apple yan nag-act, yung dalawang forces ay yan, mali na yung sagot mo. Tama ba yun? Tama? Questions? 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 May tanong? Are there any questions here? No, oh, not sure. None. Okay, let's... Okay, 